true fact, the realities of relationships are very different than what media would portray. When we see relationships being portrayed in so many different things, we see a sort of, well, not even sort of, a very clearly false image of what a relationship is that is a loving romantic relationship. The ones that are often portrayed in media are very much built around an external conflict driving two people together who basically have no faults with each other, or if they do, it's actually some other contravance of the plot that has nothing to do with who they are, and in actuality, it's all pretty great between each other. Mm, yeah. We all know how reality works, I think, that none of that is actually true. Not a bit. But the important thing to note here is that relationships require sacrifice, and they require it from you. If you want to be in a relationship, it's going to take things from you to make it work. It's going to take a lot from you at times, actually. Like, this this sort of thing, even if you click with a person like you've never clicked with anyone before, you think it's absolutely perfect, right? It's the best thing that's ever happened. Well, that all might be true, but nobody is perfect. That That's just fact of life. And something is going to happen somewhere at some time where you're going to have a problem. There's going to be an issue of some kind. Things are going to happen. It's part of life. And Sometimes the answer to these problems is sacrifice from yourself. Maybe you have to make ends meet in one way or another, like with time. Time is one of the biggest things where sacrifice occurs. You want to make ends meet, have everything you want done, have enough time for the lady, work, whatever have you. Fit it all together. Sometimes you're going to need to take more out of your time than you really know how to. It might cut into sleep, it might cut into other things, but... Well, necessity of relationship knows no schedule. If they need you right then, they're going to need you right then. And something else gets cut out. That's one of the sacrifices that happens. Or maybe it's monetary. Maybe they're in a hard spot, your other person. And you need to pay out of your pocket to help them for a little bit. Well, you know, that's a pretty big sacrifice in many ways. Actually, pretty burdensome at times, especially when you have to do the monetary sacrifice. You have to give up things that you want to have or things that you even need sometimes in order to help out another person. And sacrifices can come in so many different forms in a relationship, whether you have to learn to accept a behavior or something that you may not like, but you don't actually have the right to change, something that's just about them, that's not bad per se, but you don't like it. You might have to give up your disdain for what's going on a little bit and learn to accept it. It could be something so minor as just like they have a simple habit that bothers you ever so slightly and you just have to shrug it off. But there's a level of sacrifice to relationships and I think that we all need to remember that and we more than remember that, we need to not begrudge this fact. Sometimes people will need your help. Sometimes you will need help. And relationships work that way as a give and a take. Now there's another part that goes to this that must be said with this, which is that there is an unfair share that can occur. There can be sacrifice from one end and not another, where maybe you are giving up a lot for this person, but maybe they just take. That's not okay. That's not good. It's In fact, it's quite deplorable. You are going to resent that at some point. Eventually. It might take years, perhaps, to build up inside of you, but resentment will build up over this. If you're in the perception of giving and giving and giving, and then they're taking and taking and giving nothing back, well, it's hard to not dislike anyone who does that, no matter, matter what the position they're in to you. Doesn't matter. If somebody just uses you, you're going to dislike them eventually. It's going to build up on you. And there does come a point where you have to say enough is enough. That's a part of this too. Where yes, you must be willing to make sacrifices, sometimes quite a nary of sacrifices for your significant other. But you have to learn where the line is. There is a moderation to this. It fits together where you sacrifice and they sacrifice and there's a trade, a sharing of responsibility and a sharing of the burden that comes with being alive. And if you don't have that, well, that's a very, very terrible problem that 
I dare say you want to address that before almost anything else in the relationship that's a problem. That sort of inequity can be a driving force to shattering a relationship all on its own. It doesn't even need help. But as a second caveat to all of this, a very important point is that we are very often blind to the sacrifices other people make unless it's brought to our attention or it happens right in front of us. You might think, oh, I give and give and I get nothing back. She's not sacrificing at all or he's not giving up anything while well, I'm doing this and that, but maybe it's possible you're missing where they're sacrificing. Maybe they gave up things that they love to do to be with you. Maybe they didn't mention it because they thought they didn't want to bring you down saying, oh, well, I could have been doing this, but I'm with you instead. It could be so many things in that mix that maybe you're just not aware of. And before you do jump on that high horse that comes with, I sacrifice and you don't, make sure that's the case. It's a terrible mistake to make in a relationship to jump on indignation and get on your high horse about some cause when in reality, you have no idea what you're talking about. That's a very, very good way to piss people off. And it's, it's very reasonable, too. If I came up to you and said, well, what have you done for this? And you haven't done anything for this, and I haven't seen you do anything, but off on the side, you're like the chairman of the foundation dedicated to helping that. I didn't know, but I ran my fucking mouth, didn't I? So don't fall in that position. There is that point where you need to say enough is enough. Look out for yourself and defend your interests and not be used. But don't fall into an, that easy mistake to make of getting on your cross and saying, I do all of this and I sacrifice everything and they don't do anything when maybe you're just not aware of what they're giving up. Maybe they didn't know how to communicate it or maybe you just missed it. These things are all possible. So, in the end, relationships require two things, actually. They require effort, and they require observation. You need to know what's going on with your significant other, and you need to be willing to put forth effort into both finding that out and sustaining the relationship first. If it comes to ending it, or if it comes to making a strong stance for yourself, then it's come to that. Do it. But... Put effort in first, try to save it, and most importantly, pay attention to what's going on with them. This can save you an almost endless amount of heartache. Just something to think about.